What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and you're watching our college football channel. We continue with our 2021 predictions. Penn State is up next. Penn State Nittany Lions with a very interesting season last year, starting off losing all those games in a row, then they won all the games in a row at the end. Uh, it was like two different teams and you know they had some opt-outs, they had some injuries, they had some things early on that they had to deal with and I think they once they kind of figured things out, they were able to turn it around. But it was too little too late. Obviously, last year was a, a lost cause for Penn State. You look ahead to 2021, and this, I think this team has a chance to be pretty good. I really do. Uh, I think you're gonna. this team's going to look more like what we, you saw at the in the second half of the season than you did in the first half of the season. And if you're a Penn State fan, uh, subscribe to our Penn State channel with our partners at The Voice of College Football. We have Penn State content over there. If you're a Penn State fan, check it out. Subscribe. Help us out. Uh, the channel's still pretty young, still kind of trying to get it growing, but uh, we'll get there, and we'll get there with your support. So let's go to Penn State here. The FBI is predicting this team at 8.6 and 3.6, so roughly you know 9 and 3, maybe 8 and 4, somewhere in that range, which really lines up here with Athlon and the over-under. Athlon has them at 8 and 4, the over-under at 9. Uh, 9, I think, is a really good number for this Penn State team. When you look at the schedule, though, you have to say that it's probably more likely, just looking at the odds, it's probably more likely that they would finish with eight wins. And we're just talking about regular season. It's more likely that they would go eight and four than it is that they'd go 10 and two, just because there are so many tough games on the schedule. Can they get to 10 and two? Absolutely. Uh, if things go their way. But I'm just saying, with this schedule, I, I would probably lean more towards the under. But I think, you know, nine and three is probably a pretty good prediction. Let's get to my actual predictions here as you take a look at the schedule. They open up with a very tough game right out of the gates on the road at Wisconsin. Wisconsin was another team that was intriguing last year. It was opposite of Penn State. They started off looking like a top 10 team and then they finished looking, you know, not very good. Uh, I, I think both teams are going to look more like they did at their best last year. It was a wacky year last year. I'm expecting uh, Penn State to play like they did towards the end of the year. I think Wisconsin plays like they did early in the year. And I think this is really a toss-up. It's a game that can go either way. And usually when it comes down to to a toss-up type game, I'm going to go with home field advantage. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to go with Wisconsin. Again, it's a game that can go either way. Probably a lower scoring game. Both teams are going to want to run the football. Uh, it'll probably be a really close one. I think it probably comes down to the wire. But I'm going to go with Wisconsin again just because of home field advantage. Uh, which is really what we're going to do here with this next game. On our, on uh, September 18th, Penn State going to host Auburn in a huge non-conference game. Auburn, a team with a lot of question marks. New head coach, what are they going to look like? I think these two teams are fairly even on paper when you look at the two rosters. But once again, home field advantage, I think, is going to play a big factor into this one. And uh, you know, assuming we have full sold-out stadiums, Penn State's one of the toughest places to play in all of college football. Auburn, I think, is is going to fight hard in this game, but it won't be enough. Penn State, I think, gets the job done. They win at home, and then I think they also beat Villanova. So I've got them starting off 3-1 and one before really getting into the meat of their Big Ten schedule. And they're really, you know, there aren't any easy games when you look at the rest of the schedule. Indiana, Iowa, Illinois is a, a veteran team. Probably the easiest game on the schedule, but still, uh, it's a team that they won't be easy. You've got Ohio State, Maryland, both on the road. Michigan, Rutgers, who's going to be better? Michigan State on the road. Uh, that's why I say that. Just looking at the odds of, of their, you know, their chances of winning each game, you'd probably lean more towards eight and four than you would ten and two. Um, this is a pretty tough schedule. You've got Indiana here on October the second. I think this is a big motivation game for Penn State after the way last year ended on a controversial call. That was that was a crazy game. I mean, what a way to! I think that was the first game in Big Ten play, if I remember correctly, and that was a great way to kick off uh, the season in the Big Ten. I mean, that was that was a fun game, one of the best games of the year last year. I remember it, um, and it was, you know, it was, looked like two teams that were pretty even. I think that loss really mentally hurt Penn State a lot. Uh, I think this year, playing at home with the motivation factor, they come out really ready for this one. I've got Penn State beating Indiana. I think both teams are comparable again this year. I think Indiana is going to be a, a very good team, but I think I think Penn State gets it done at home. Okay, so Iowa's up next. 
on October the 9th. They're going to go on the road here. How about having to play Wisconsin and Iowa on the road? And we talk about this schedule being a tough schedule. You're going to play arguably the two best teams out of the West, and you're going to play them both on the road. That is a that's a tough draw there. Uh, plus, they play Auburn in the non-conference. Uh, but Iowa is going to be a team that's similar to Wisconsin. It's You've got several of these games, Wisconsin, Auburn, Iowa. These are just toss-up games. These are 50-50 games, games that I think could go either way. Teams are pretty even. Uh, all three of these games will probably be lower-scoring games, defensive games. Teams are going to run the football. I mean, they're almost carbon copies of each other. And once again, that's how I'm going to make my pick is simply home-field advantage. I think it goes to Iowa. I think it'll be, you know, if they could win – Either one of these games, either Wisconsin or Iowa, if they could win one of those, that would be huge for Penn State. But I just, I think it's going to be tough. Those are tough places to play. Uh, Illinois coming up on, and this is not a great time for a bye week. You get your bye week before playing Illinois. Why not? I know they don't have any control over it, but it'd be not, a lot better if they could play Illinois and then have their bye week before Ohio State. Uh, but I think they roll here over Illinois. Uh, Illinois is again a veteran team. They're not going to be terrible. But I don't think they're anywhere near good enough to go on the road and challenge Penn State. So I've got the Nittany Lions winning that game and getting to 5-2. and two. So here's the game against Ohio State on October the 30th. Penn State really struggling against the Buckeyes the last couple of years. This year, do they have a shot? You know, is Ohio State vulnerable? They've got a secondary that's questionable. Uh, you know, there are some question marks there, even at the linebacker spot as well on defense. you got a new quarterback. Uh, I think Penn State will be able to fight in this game. It'll be a four-quarter game, but I just I trust Ohio State a little bit more, especially playing at home. I'm going to go with the Buckeyes. So Penn State now drops to 5-3, and three, and then it's a tough road game right after that against Maryland, a team that not a lot of people are talking about. But I think this Maryland team is going to be able to score some points this year. Uh, offensively, they're going to be pretty good. Uh, can Penn State keep up with them? I think it'll be a challenge on the road. This is a typical upset alert game right after a tough, hard-fought game with Ohio State, right before playing Michigan. Uh, this will be a tricky game for Penn State. If they don't watch out, they're going to lose this one. But I think they have just enough. Sean Clifford, the veteran at quarterback, uh, gives Penn State just enough to win this game. I think they beat Maryland and improve to 6-3. and three. Michigan coming up on the 13th of November. Michigan's a team that, you know, who knows? Who knows with Michigan? I, I don't know what's going to happen with this team. They were awful last year. You expect them to be better this year. Uh, playing at home, I've got to I've got to go with Penn State. I think that they're probably the better team. Plus, playing at home, I think they win that game. Improved to seven and three. Rutgers coming up next. Uh, this is a Rutgers team that's going to be pretty good. I'm telling you, I, as I look at this roster, this is a, a team with the talent to win some games in the Big Ten. I don't think this is one of them though, because Penn State is playing at home. Again, they're the better team. I think. The Nittany Lions get the win there, improved to 8-3. And, and then Michigan State, that final game of the year on the road, going to be a tricky one. Michigan State maybe uh, sitting there fighting for a bowl berth, possibly, if they have five wins. Uh, could be a really motivated Michigan State team and a Penn State team that maybe isn't really playing for a whole lot at this point after they've lost three games. Uh, so it's one where you got to be careful. you got to be really careful. Uh, but I just don't really trust the Michigan State offense enough to, to do much at all. I think because of their – problems on offense which they could be different this year bringing in a transfer quarterback maybe they answer some of those questions but i just trust penn state's offense a little bit more i think they're going to have a defense that can match penn or michigan state yes it's on the road that makes it tough but not tough enough i think penn state wins that game and i think they finished nine and three so it's a solid year for them not quite a top 10 finish but probably a top 15 ish finish somewhere in there for penn state you look at the secondary these linebackers, they look really solid. Uh, they, they do have some question marks up front. Some guys are gone. And then on the offensive side of the ball, they're going to be able to run it just like they have in the past. It's It comes down to Sean Clifford. What can Sean Clifford do? Can he get better? Can they get a little bit more explosive in the pass game? If they can, and Sean Clifford becomes one of the top quarterbacks in the Big Ten, or really maybe, maybe even go a little bit further than that, if he's one of the top quarterbacks in the country, then Penn State really comes – they elevate themselves up to, to a top 10 type team, maybe even a dark horse playoff contender. I haven't seen enough to really uh, convince me that they're going to be able to do that, but I do think they turn things around from last year. They play very similar to how they played towards the end of the year. The problem is just that you've got some tough road games on the schedule, and I think they lose three of them. Nine and three, my prediction for Penn State. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What do you think about the Nittany Lions? 
Give me your thoughts, your predictions down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports College Football Channel.